Welcome everyone, I'm Linda Hartling and I'm here with Evelyn Lindner. We are part of the teaching team for our course on human dignity, human rights, and sustainable post-disaster reconstruction. As some of you already know, we believe that the intersecting dynamics of human dignity, humiliation, and human rights in today's world is crucial for understanding how to work in the aftermath of disaster. And we're really happy to have you join us. We have a teaching team that also includes Michael Britton, who is a psychologist who's working in New Jersey, and Uli Spaltoff, who is uh, working with us in Germany. So you'll be meeting them along the way, and you'll also be able to read their descriptions on our course website. But first, I want to introduce uh, our founding president of the Human Dignity Humiliation Studies Network, Evelyn Linder, and have her present herself. <laughs> Thank you so much, Linda. My name is Evelyn Lindner, and I wrote my doctoral dissertation on humiliation and armed conflict uh, from 1997 to 2001. And you wrote your dissertation on humiliation before me in 1995. So we both uh, worked on the topic of humiliation in you know relation to dignity, to honor, and um, we together have are developing the Human Dignity and Humiliation Studies Network since many years now and we just launched the World Dignity University Initiative together. And we are so very happy and honored and glad that Professor Adenrele Awotona invited us to offer this course to his students. Um, Professor Awotona, he came to us to our um, 2007 workshop on transforming humiliation and violent conflict that we had in New York. We have this workshop every year in New York in December. And we were so impressed when we met him in 2007 for the first time. Professor Awotona has a, an understanding of the human condition this, that goes so much deeper than many, many, many we know. Uh, he has a background in architecture, but this doesn't confine him. He is a human being of deep wisdom and insight. So therefore we are so happy to be together with uh, Professor Wotona. And I would like to simply uh, read a bit more of the course description. You, Linda, you said already the first part. And I would like to read the rest. It's greater awareness of human rights ideals brings to the forefront the risk that post post-disaster strategies and responses, once accepted and considered helpful, are sometimes perceived as deeply humiliating. This course will explore how globalization dramatically alters how we engage in helping relationships at all levels. It, this course proposes that post-disaster reconstruction can be an opportunity to implement innovative and sustainable solutions that support the healing, health and dignity of all involved in post-disaster recovery. We just come from a conference in New Zealand where we met a, um, a bearer of oral tradition, oral Maori indigenous uh, wisdom. And so we will offer in this course you know, a broad range of, of wisdom, of insight, of knowledge. The name of uh, our friend in New Zealand is Carmen Heteraka. We would like to invite him and include him into this course too. So it's a really a unity in diversity approach to our work. Yes, exactly. I think that what we've tried to capture in our work on the global level with the Human Dignity Humiliation Studies Network is that it takes many voices mm -hmm. to understand the experience of humiliation and human di dignity. And so we are so thankful for Adam Rayleigh, Adam Tona, for this 
providing us with this opportunity for this groundbreaking certificate program that the University of Massachusetts is offering. And we're especially thankful to all of you that are joining us for this program. We're very excited about the development of ideas and we invite you to contribute to those ideas by participating in this course. So welcome everyone to our course on human dignity, human rights, and sustainable post-disaster reconstruction.